Joe and I, as we were walking out here, we were looking at, you know, one of the Washington newspapers and was quoting a Republican aide saying, I don't know why we'd want to cooperate with Obama right now. It's not good for our politics. Mm. That's very explicit. And if Republicans don't like what they've heard so far, they probably won't like what my next guest wants from the president. Bigger, bolder, more expensive. David Callahan is the senior fellow at, uh, I guess you'd call it a liberal think tank. We would. Amos. All right, yep. good to have you. Great to um, so your argument, I mean, I've heard from many uh, on, on your side on this, that, that the mistake the president made is he didn't go bigger at the outset. Be that as it may, it's a moot point right now, right? I mean, the idea of going bigger now, it's just not going to happen. Right? Well, the more you ask for, maybe the more you get. I mean, the problem here is that most estimates suggest this plan will create between two and four million jobs. Well, there's between 14 and 25 million people who need a job. So this plan is not nearly as big as it needs to be. Um, the rap in Congress and even the American people is whatever we tried before uh, and cutting it, right, working. Now, I know the argument has been, well, things would be a lot worse if we didn't. We can't prove that. So that's going nowhere. Even the half trillion dollar commitment for jobs and related, that, it's just not going anywhere, right? Well, not necessarily. The biggest element of this plan is that payroll tax cut. $240 billion in tax cuts that Obama is proposing. The Republicans in Congress went along with this payroll tax holiday just a year ago. So one reason that Obama has put so many eggs in that basket is the thought that, hey, Republicans like tax cuts. Here's a big tax cut that will stimulate the economy. Uh, you know, that's something that they should go for. That the estimates are that that tax cut would create uh, uh, $1,500 in extra income for every uh, worker in America. But you can't that's, give that's... them an apple at the same time pass along a lemon, right? I mean, Republicans are seizing on this idea of limiting deductions as a tax hike for a tax cut um, that is an anathema to everything they want. Well, that's the revenue conversation. The revenue conversation, how to pay for all this, the $450 billion that Obama wants, that's going to happen with that super committee discussion. Right now, the idea is let's do something big, kick the can down the line in terms of how so to pay for it. you're not impressed with you've seen it on either side. I'm not. I, I, I think that, you know, both these, both sides need to think bigger. Remember, the Republicans in so you Congress... Don't, but you don't like the fact that the president did, right? He didn't think big enough for you. Well, yeah, I mean, 25 million unemployed people or underemployed people in a plan that creates only two to four million jobs, that's not big enough. And there's another element. disappointed in the president? Well, all progressives are disappointed in the president just about because he hasn't fought hard enough. I mean, one of the big issues here that the president didn't even mention is economic inequality. A big reason that consumers don't have enough money is because so much of the... Uh, the uh, prosperity created by this economy goes to the top. Corporations have record profits. They're sitting on two trillion dollars in cash. You know, so by raising taxes, that that writes the balance. Making it easier to form unions, raising the minimum wage, uh, raising labor standards uh, across the board, so that workers make more money. You know, Henry Ford had that famous insight back in the 1920s that you got to pay workers good money if they're going to be able to buy products. He for, for then you want to lift them up, you don't want to slap the top down, right? Well, I think that, that, the, that this economy naturally uh, sends, to, sends wealth to the top, and we need ways to make sure it's more evenly spread around. Otherwise, consumers aren't going to have the money that they need to buy stuff. All right. Dave, we shall see. Very good seeing you. Thank you very much. Good to be